boys and girls, it's me, Miss Borges. Today, we're going to talk about feelings. And feelings are different ways that everybody feels at all sorts of different times. And it's okay to have different feelings. Sometimes we know how people are feeling when we look at their face, when we listen to the words they use, and sometimes we can even tell by looking at what their body is doing. So we're gonna look at some faces and try to decide how these boys and girls are feeling. Are you ready? Okay, here's the first picture. Look at these girls. How do you think they're feeling? Look at their faces. Their faces have a smile. Their two sisters or friends outside playing together. Their hands are on their faces. It looks like they're swimming at a pool. How do you think they're feeling? You're right. I think they're feeling happy. Can you think of a time when you feel happy? All right, I want you to think. Hmm, when do I feel happy? What makes me happy? Are you thinking? I feel happy when I see my family. I feel happy when I see my students, the boys and girls, all of you, when you come to school and I see your faces, that makes me smile and I am happy. Can you show me a big happy smile? Good job. All right, I'm going to put the happy face on the board. So sometimes we can feel happy. How else do we feel? Because we have more feelings than happy. Boys and girls, look at this little girl. Look at her face. And she's looking down, her body is looking down. How do you think she's feeling? Sad, you're right. I think she's feeling sad. And sometimes we all feel sad. And we might show it by our face and our body. We might tell mom, I feel sad. Or dad, I feel sad. What's something that makes you feel sad? Can you show me your sad face? Mm, not your sad face. Good job, friends. I feel sad when I can't see someone in my family and I miss them. Sometimes I can feel sad. But then I can call them on the phone or I can FaceTime them or even Zoom them and I see them and that makes me feel better. So when we feel sad, we can do things to help us feel better and we can talk about it. So we all do feel sad sometimes. All right, look at this little boy. Look at his face. Mm, how do you think he's feeling? Look at his body. <clears throat> I think he might be angry or mad. Do you think he looks angry or mad? We all get angry or mad. Can you show me what your face and what your body looks like when you're angry or mad? Look at that face. Maybe your hands are crunched over. <clears throat> what can make you angry? Maybe if someone doesn't share their toy with you, if you have a brother or sister, a cousin or a friend, and you want to play with their toy and they won't share, that might make you mad. You're right. And so you can use your words and tell them, I don't like that. That makes me mad. I don't like when you don't share. We can talk about our feelings and when we're mad, we can tell people that we're mad. And sometimes just talking about being mad or why we're mad helps us feel better. Maybe a grown-up can help you find a way to fix the problem. Maybe 
you share the toy and you get 10 minutes and then your brother or your friend or your sister gets 10 minutes. So you put a timer on and share the toy. So this is mad or angry. Look at this face, friends. Look at, how do you think this little boy is feeling when you look at his face? It looks like his mouth is opened and his eyes are closed and he might be hurt. He looks like he's hurt. And when we're hurt, sometimes we cry. If you fall down off your bike or scooter and get hurt, you might cry. Or if you trip over your foot or over the, the toy in your living room, you might cry because you're hurt. And it doesn't feel good when you're hurt. When you're hurt, sometimes it just feels better to get a hug from mom or dad. Just them giving us a hug, saying, it's okay, I'm here, makes you feel better. Sometimes maybe you need to get a Band-Aid if you have a little boo-boo or a cut on your knee. So we all can get hurt and cry. Look at this little girl's face. Her face, her mouth is open. <gasps> but she doesn't look like she's hurt. And she doesn't look like she's mad. She still looks like, look at her eyes. She still looks like she's happy. She's surprised. <gasps> we sometimes feel surprised and our face might, <gasps> oh, we might even jump or giggle or laugh when we're surprised. If you went inside your house after playing outside and there were balloons and a cake, you might be surprised. Oh, that would be a good surprise, wouldn't it? If mom and dad surprised you with something and you didn't know you were getting it. Even if they surprise you and you they have your favorite dinner, you might go, oh, that's a good surprise. So we can all feel surprised. Boys and girls, look at this little girl. She's next to the slide. And there looks like there's a shadow in the slide. Look at her face. She's covering her face with her hands. She looks scared. Maybe she doesn't know who's in there. Maybe they're making a loud noise and she doesn't like that. She's looking like she's scared. And sometimes we feel scared. We might not like a noise that we hear. We might not like it when it's dark and it's time to go to bed. Or we might not like having to get up and go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. We might feel scared. So we all feel scared. And when you're scared, you can talk about it. You can say, I feel scared. You can ask a brother or sister or mom or dad to help you. Maybe they can help you peek into that tunnel. What is in there? It's just another boy making a shadow. It's okay. So it's good to talk about things that we don't like and things that make us feel scared. But we all get scared. Sometimes even grown-ups get scared. So we have different feelings and we have different faces when we're feeling different ways. So we're going to sing a song about the different feelings. And I'm going to point to the different faces. Are you ready? Here we go. Happy face, happy face. Who do you see? I see a sad face looking at me. Sad face, sad face. What do you see? I see an angry face looking at me. Angry face, angry face. What do you see? I see a hurt face looking at me. Hurt face, hurt face. What do you see? I see a surprised face looking at me. Surprised face, surprised face. What do you see? 
I see a scared face looking at me. Scared face, scared face, who do you see? I see a happy face looking at me. All right, friends. So it's okay to feel different ways. It's okay. We can talk about it. We can read stories about it. We can use our words and, and share why we feel the way we feel. Everybody has feelings. Grown-ups have feelings. Teenagers, brothers and sisters, little babies. We all have feelings. Big kids. So, friends, you can look at people's faces and you can think, hmm, I wonder how they're feeling. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye.